Hi guys, welcome to Social Studies. All right, we are going to be continuing reading um, Civil War on Sunday. On Tuesday we read the first chapter. So today we're gonna read chapter two and then next week we'll just keep on going. Um, so last we left off, Jack and Annie had just found the tree house and they um, found a letter from Morgan that said they had to find four different types of writings. And so they're like, all right, well, let's find the first one, something to follow. And they had a Civil War book, so they decided to go to the Civil War book, or to go into the book. So that's what they're doing now. So they just got there. Chapter two, Cruel War. Sorry guys, my printer is being possessed. All right, chapter two, Cruel War. Glaring sunlight filled the tree house. It's really hot here, said Jack. Especially in these clothes, said Annie. Their clothes had magically been changed. Annie wore a long dress, Jack wore scratchy pants and a long sleeved shirt. His backpack was now a leather knapsack. Where are we? asked Annie. They looked out the window together. The tree house had landed in a tree at the edge of a field. The same field on the cover of the book. It looks so peaceful, said Jack. Where's the Civil War? There whispered Annie with a shiver. She pointed to the woods beyond the field. Jack saw a soldier hiding, Jack saw a soldier riding a horse out of the woods. The horse was covered in mud. The soldier's blue uniform was torn. His arm was bloody. Another man rode into the field. His blue uniform was in rags too. His head was bandaged. Oh man, whispered Jack, who are they? He opened the Civil War book and found a painting of some soldiers in blue. He read to Annie. 1861 to 1865. The Civil War is also called the War Between States because it was fought between the Southern and Northern states of the United States. Southerners wore gray uniforms and were called Confederate soldiers. Northerners wore blue uniforms and were called Union soldiers. So they're Union soldiers, said Jack. He pulled out his notebook and wrote, Civil War, 1861 to 1865. Blue equals North equals Union. Gray equals South equals Confederate. Jack looked at his book again. He read aloud. The Civil War was a cruel and bloody war. More people died in this war than in all of America's other wars put together. One out of every five young men in the nation died or was wounded. That's so sad, said Annie. Jack wrote in his notebook, cruel war. Wow, they keep coming, Annie said. Jack looked up. More Union soldiers were coming through the field. These didn't have horses. They all looked sad and weary. Some of them limped. Some of them helped others along. One man stumbled and fell down. I have to help, said Annie. Wait, said Jack. She started down the rope ladder. You can't help, said Jack. A kid can't, but Annie kept going. Don't forget, we have to find some special writing for Morgan, Jack called in a loud whisper. Something to follow. He packed the Civil War book and his notebook in his knapsack. Then he started down the ladder. When he stepped onto the ground, Jack saw Annie in the distance. She was holding her hand out to the fallen soldier. She helped him to his feet. The soldier slowly started walking again. 
Annie walked beside him. Oh, brother, said Jack, and he hurried to catch up with Annie. The sun was scorching hot as Jack ran through the dry field. He was sweaty in his scratchy clothes. He caught up with Annie. Together, they walked silently with the soldiers. At the edge of the field was a steep hill. Everyone stopped and gazed at the sight below them. Rows and rows of white tents. <sighs> Thank goodness, said the soldier beside Jack. We're saved. That is the end of that chapter. All right. So let's go ahead to our papers. We're going to start with our writing. So let's answer the question. What do you think the white rows of tents are? So we're going to look at our picture in our book. And we see all of these tents and you'll see it bigger over here, but you see all of the tents here and they were so excited to see them and they said, we're saved. What do you think these tents are? Why don't you go ahead and pause the video and you can come up with your answers and then we'll come back together and we'll make an answer together. All right, what do you think the white rows of tents are? Um, so thinking about how they just were fighting, right? Or they got away from fighting, right? Because some of them have, um, are wounded or got hurt, right? Some of them are bloody, they have blood, they have band-aids, all sorts of things. So it looks like that might be like a hospital or soldier camp, right? So the white tents usually were like hospital or nurse tents. And so there's a bunch of people there to take care of them, to maybe to feed them, all sorts of things, right? Um, yeah, so I think that the tents are like nurses and doctors and the tents to help um, take care of the soldiers who got hurt. Do you think that, that those tents could be for nurses or doctors? Yeah, cool. So let's go ahead and we'll write that. So. On our paper, we're going to say um, the tents are Nurses and oh, doctors to Take care of who? Of soldiers. I know this is a long sentence, but you can do it. All right, so the tents are nurses and doctors to take care of soldiers. Um, go ahead and pause the video so you can write your answer, and then we'll keep going. All 
right, let's go ahead to the next page. All right, so again, we're gonna put these in order by what happened in the story. Um, so go ahead, take your time, go ahead and uh, pause the video so you guys can cut out your um, cut out your boxes and then we'll go ahead and see what order they go in. happened first. A. Annie noticed how one man stumbled and fell. She ran down to help him. Um, B. The magic tree house landed on top of a tree at the edge of a big field. C. Jack read that the Civil War was between the Northern Union and the Southern Confederate States, or D, Jack, Annie, and soldiers reach a valley filled with rows of white tents. All right, so go ahead, pause the video. What do you think happened first? All right, so we're going to start by going back into our story to see, um, to find our answer, right? We can usually find our answers in the story. So I'm back at the beginning. All right, and let me see. The tree house had landed in a tree at the edge of a field, the same field on the cover of the book. Okay, so which of these talk about the tree house landing at the edge of a field? A, B, C, or D? Go ahead and pause and tell me your answer. All right, the answer is B, the magic tree house landed on top of a tree at the edge of a big field. So we're gonna bring that up to number one. Awesome. All right, go ahead and glue just that one. Remember, you are only gluing one at a time. You need to wait to find out the answer before you do any more gluing. The only one you should have glued is this one. Do not glue any more. All right. What happened next? A, Annie noticed how one man stumbled and fell. She ran down to help him. C, uh, Jack read that the Civil War was between Northern Union and the Southern Confederate States. Or D, Jack, Annie, and Soldier reach a valley filled with rows of white tents. All right, so. Um, what happened next? Go ahead and pause the video. Tell me which one you think is next. All right, let's go back into our book. Um, it says, he opened the Civil War book and found a painting of some soldiers in blue. He read to Annie, 1861 to 1865. The Civil War is also called the War Between the States because it was fought between the Southern and Northern states of the United States. Southerners wore gray uniforms and were called Confederate soldiers. Northerners wore blue uniforms and were called Union soldiers. All right, 
So A, C, or D, which one talks about reading from the book and talks about the Northern Union and Southern Confederate soldiers? A, C, or D? C, ding, 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 ding. C is correct, so you're gonna go ahead and glue. Jack read that the Civil War was between the Northern Union and Southern Confederate States. That is the old next one you are gluing. Do not glue any more than this. You can pause the video if you need time to glue. All right. Let's keep going. What happened after that? So we have first, next, then. And then what happened? A, Annie noticed how one man stumbled and fell. She ran down to help him. Or D, Jack, Annie, and soldier reach a valley filled with rows of white tents. All right, what happened next? Go ahead and tell me your answer. Pause the video. All right, let's look in the story. Um, they all looked sad and weary. Some of them limped. Some of them helped others along. One man stumbled and fell down. I have to help, said Annie. Wait, said Jack. All right, so which one talks about a man who fell and then how Annie ran to 